In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a person on a diving board, and we're gonna figure out the amount of force applied by the bolts on the diving board to keep it at rust and keep that net torque at zero. So first of all, when we're analyzing our diving board, we have a pivot point that would be right over here. And we're gonna measure all of our lever arms, our distances from that orange X right there. So we have a person standing at the end of the beam and they have a force of gravity. So we'll say FGP force of gravity with a person pulling it down three meters from that pivot point. So we have our force and lever arm for the person. So we know the torque. And then secondly, we have the actual weight of the beam itself and the weight of the beam or the mass of the beam is 60 kilograms. Now, if we were to find the center of mass, we want to find the center of the entire object. So we have five meters total, two meters over here, three meters over here. So the center would be at two and a half, which would mean that if we're at two and a half, then it would be a, an additional half a meter away from the center here to make it two and then the half here. And then we'll call this one FG DB, the force of gravity of the diving board. And then third of all, to counteract those forces, we have some forces from the bolts that are being applied to the diving board. These two over here are applying a torque that is going to try to twist the diving board clockwise, and we'll call that the negative direction. And then we have this force of the bolts that are securing the diving board over here that is going to counteract those by going um, counterclockwise. And we're gonna call this one positive and then these two negative. So let's go ahead and set up our equation first. Our equation would look something like this. Our net torque, the sum of all of our torques is going to be the force um, over here times the lever arm of two meters. And then that's gonna be our unknown variable that we're looking for. And then we're gonna subtract it from the torque of the diving board and then subtract the torque of the person and that will give us zero Newton meters. We know the sum is going to be zero because there is no angular acceleration on the board itself. So let's go ahead and plug in all of our values so that we can solve for the torque of both of those objects and then solve for that unknown force. So we went ahead and found um, each of our values for the torque by doing the um, force of gravity, mg, mass times 9.8 times the lever arm. So here is the diving board, 60 times 9.8 times that 0.5 that we saw for earlier in red. And then for the person, they are 50 kilograms. So their mg is 50 times 9.8 times three. And then we set that all equal to zero. So we just found the product of these two and then added them both to the other side, so which left us with F times two equals 1,764 Newton meters. And then we finish off by dividing both sides by two, which gave us a force of 882 Newtons. And that is the force of the bolts that would be pulling downwards on the board to keep it from twisting and keeping the entire thing in equilibrium. So I hope that was helpful in helping you set up and solve a diving board problem. Thank you for watching.